Our in-depth coverage of the new COVID rules announced today continues. The requirement for either masks or proof of vaccination is supposed to apply to Rhode Island churchgoers, especially going into the busy Christmas season. But the head of the Diocese of Providence says they will not turn anyone away who isn't wearing a mask. Target 12 investigator Tim White spoke with Bishop Thomas Tobin and is here now with the details. Bishop Thomas Tobin says he is encouraging everyone to follow state guidelines on masking and urging them to get vaccinated. But he says the church is not going to enforce masking or proof of vaccination at mass. The Archdiocese in Boston is enacting a mask mandate in their churches, but Bishop Thomas Tobin says he is not planning to do the same thing in Rhode Island. Well, people will first of all have a right to worship. Um, and but that I, wouldn't prevent them from worshiping. No, it wouldn't, but it's another restriction. It makes it difficult for people, and also because we recognize that the whole question now of masking and, and um, vaccination mandates, and I am fully vaccinated, by the way, and I've tried to encourage people to do that, um, it's a very controversial, very divisive thing for people. Governor Dan McKee's new rules apply to places of worship, but Tobin says despite that, people will not be turned away if they don't wear a mask in church, regardless of vaccination status. I don't think there have been any accounts of any uh, large outbreaks of uh, the coronavirus coming from church congregations. Recently, Reverend Joseph Santos of the Holy Name Parish in Providence died of COVID-19. Tobin says he is unsure how many priests are currently vaccinated. I would hope that their sense of um, commitment to their ministry, their desire to do the right thing would encourage them. And I think, my guess is that the vast majority of our priests have been vaccinated just from common conversations and so forth. More broadly, Tobin says attendance at mass has rebounded, though not where it was pre-pandemic, and Catholic schools in Rhode Island have seen a 5% enrollment increase in the last year. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.